shit, man. Some of us may partake. You know, your light guy, you know me, you often see me partake in my medication, my medicinal herbs. <laughs> but you know how it go, be where it go. I really hope these brothers don't mind me sharing their video. It's just that I really came across this and I was like, man, I need to share this with others. Others can see the intricacies of how this business is really ran. It's just not what everybody want to see. It's actually a business. These brothers are business minded, goal set minded. They took a dream and idea and turned it into a hell of a business. And you all about to see what I'm talking about here soon. And I don't want to hold your time up, but this is a very great video. And I picked this up from my guy, LMC. So if you don't subscribe to mine first, subscribe to his also. You know what I mean? Let's keep it in the algorithm. But in the meantime, let's hit the mantra real quick. Woosa, woosa, woosa. Thank you, God, for giving me another gift of life to get up today to respect myself and respect others. And let's get it. You know how we do over here, baby. Let's tune into this great video. I don't want to waste no more of your time or mine because I like to get waste my time get money. So let's get this video out the way. I love y'all. Let's turn in. By the way, how's all my guys doing this morning? My GODs, all my queens, and all my pretty ladies. Let's check in. A brand born in the streets and loyal to the streets. Last year, I was at LAX, waiting to get aboard my flight to head back to Seattle. When I was waiting in line to board the flight, I saw six different groups of people, I swear to God, all wearing apparel and backpacks by this one brand. I was kind of I know y'all know about like, them Dude, backpack boys. I know y'all do. The backpack boys Don't act brand new on this station. Really we all families. In the cannabis industry over the last two or three years. The Backpack Boys have slowly become one of my favorite canvas brands in the entire India. This high design episode is going to briefly cover the leadership, the story of the Backpack Boys, but mainly focus on analyzing why the Backpack Boys have been so successful and some of the business and marketing strategies they've utilized. This is the first episode in the high design quick pack series, which just means it's going to be a shorter design episode it's gonna be a good video people still anyways in. make sure you hit the like button subscribe and let us know subscribe to, to lg videos. edutainment also this is the hd quick pack series the backpack boys are the streets at least the brand embodies much of trapper culture and there definitely is some similarities with cookies and runs one of the similarities that all three of them have I'm gonna let y'all know how all this to, uh, ties to in to cookies, runs, and my guy Burner it seems that the in these series. Stay tuned. Really, a go-to brand for many. 
the main reason I really brought up Cookies and Runs in comparison with the Bad Bad Boys is all three have beloved cannabis. But really, when it comes to the apparel and clothing, all three of these brands are popping off. When you see cannabis brands that have extremely successful apparel, it's one of the best indicators of truly how valuable or how much weight is there to the brand equity of that brand. Now brand equity also equates to brand loyalty and with cannabis, brand loyalty has been a really tough thing to build. But the Backpack Boys have absolutely done that. Can I see where they going with this already? Well, they are famously known for strains You take your idea, then you brand that idea. Of them to have a brand and you win it on so many levels because your ideas also got now, merch. I was about to say, at this point, Cookies and Runs as brands are just as famous, if not more famous, than the strains themselves, so it doesn't really overshadow them. But I think in today's age, I think it's far better to have a brand name that isn't a strain. You know, that's just something to think about. You want customers to be loyal to the brand and not the strain. You customers, want customers to be loyal to the brand, products, not the strain. Not just a strain. You want people to buy into your brand's ideals, not specific products that you guys offer. Now, the perceptions of the brand and the ideals that the brand represents is really the main component of what makes a brand. The more people that want to identify with a brand and you know, want to be representing it by buying their products. That brand well, got products. a well, logo on the back of his head. <laughs> that's and branding right there. That's, that's real brand. The CEO and founder of the Backpack that's Boys. That's loyalty has been a top quality to your crew and the belief that y'all about to win. He's definitely someone that understands how to get a lot of people to buy into his vision, to buy into his brand. And it's been dope to see this. Now, Casada and the Backpack Boys have been brilliant when it comes to leveraging the streets and authenticity that comes with that into dip getting it out the mud I guess you all can say in some kind of regards rules. but more on that later in the video let's just say they started out the streets you know what I'm saying they start out the foundation now I'm not gonna go too much into detail about Juan Caseda's upbringing because there are some dope podcasts out there like first spoke of the day also the blowing smoke podcast and some others, which have check my guy out. He's got an interesting Kisada's story, y'all. For real, I think he's been MMA fighter too. But I do think it's important like to highlight that. some things about he can bang. his upbringing. So, Casada grew up in the Bay Area, around the town of Pittsburgh, California. Juan Casada was actually a former MMA fighter, and I'm not gonna lie, Juan used to smack some fools in the octagon. Damn, tapped him out. <laughs> Way playing. He smacked him out. Record uh, and, uh, was uh, and while one, Damn, and right, that's good numbers. Two submissions, one knockout, TKO, one decision. Ain't too bad. Now, Bully Wiz, if you're not aware, he's a rapper, and entrepreneur. He's got some sticky now, on it right here. Wait. Part of the backpack. Now, in 2016, when they met, um, through 2017, Bully and Quesada or Juan launched their cannabis spirit. Keep manifesting in my ideas, y'all. Game recognized game. While Trillian didn't, you keep putting that right off. energy, that right they, vibe out there. The to. right business is going to always find you back, but you got to put the work in. Remember that, though. You can't stay stagnant. You got to keep in motion. But also their understanding and ability to build canvas brands. Now, later in 2017, Juan would have logos made for the Backpack Boys brand. The name Backpack Boys. As far as the name, at the time, I would always have a backpack, bro, because I I, uh, I was into MMA, like really tough. Um, fought professionally, fought amateur, fought a lot of amateur fights and, and all. But I, so I used to always run around with my backpack. 
I would have, uh, cause I'd have to cut weight. I was, you know, my, my fight camps and little shit like that. So I would, I wouldn't be able to just eat anything. I would always need spare clothes or, you know, shit to shower in for after I get off the mat, little shit. So I'm always running around with my backpack all the time. So then my boy that I was around, they kind of rubbed I off remember on him. The day. He would always run around with his backpack with the shit that he would need for throughout the day. He used to look at me crazy and back so in the day when I run around with a backpack like, on all the damn call this and So I asked him, like, what's going to be our name? This like, keep doing you, keep being goal. you. He's like, what you mean, bro, backpack boys? Telling you. Backpack boys, he's like, yeah. Bro. Who like, you are is great enough. Backpack, so we didn't bully us. Just expand like, just, like, and just, what like, you are, who you are, expand upon that. Be your own great. right. Nobody can be greater than you but you, right? Damn, that's the origin to Backpack Boys. The name. It was just like that. They're like, like I'm talking about. It was just like random, kind of like how we chilling right now. Like, yo, who like, who gonna call that shit? And like, he just like right off the hip, like, like, what you mean, bro? Backpack Boys. I'm like, yeah, bro. We always got our backpacks and we them boys. I brought some right a backpack all the time, man. They call me school boys, shit. You know what I'm saying? People knew, knew what was up, was up. You know what I mean? They already knew. You know what I'm saying? Never know what was in that backpack, but other people. No, 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 he got set up with a legal property to team delivery service and he had to pay a lawyer around like $4,200. Ooh, had to get back them legal. Hey, While keep you some stuff on the back end because you, you never know what's going to happen. It wouldn't be until 2019, right around the start of the pandemic. They say when you're out here pushing, always keep putting money back. back. You know what I'm saying? When the Backpack Boys brand really started to pop off. So, like I don't I said, know how many of y'all know about the 70-15-15 rule. There's other rules out there too, but you know the 70, 15, 15 can really get you somewhere. Community. Now I just gotta keep highlighting. Stack this. back on what you make. One of the, the hardest Pay yourself to do first, is to build people. Brand. And building brand is we'll get into that. Creating a keep brand up the videos. You'll see. Ideals it represents, you know, certain perceptions, certain characteristics, and you want a large amount of people Man, to identify nice. with Ooh, those see, brand so bright. with those brand ideas and the backpack boys have been absolutely amazing at this now i don't know what specific year this was but it could have been around 2019 2020 but juan would link up with someone by the name of jay Wu, who is one of the owners of five points la a little later after Juan and Jay Wu linked, they would enter into a partnership between Five Points. We got a hell of a storm out here, people. The Backpack Boys. So the, if they something go crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do this together. for y'all. Um, big shouts out to Five Points LA, by the way. But from 2020 to now, the Backpack Boys operations in the recreational markets in the U.S. have started to rapidly grow. Really, though, 2021 was the kind of the big year for them. In March of 2021, the Backpack Boys would open their first store in Los Angeles, where they did some absolutely ridiculous Damn, is that hell outside? Damn, fucking up my car out there. Open. Not only were they starting to sell cannabis out of their store, but also a ton of their apparel and obviously backpacks. Now, later in 2021, around October, the Backpack Boys store in Long Beach officially opened, where just like the other store, they did a ridiculous amount of sales. In the Hold up, you two. Shit, these are banging up my car. Here. Hold up. Only a couple. take care of that, I had to go throw some of my windows and shit, you know what I'm saying, when my whip would get fucked up, you know what I mean, but anyway, we finna continue this video, my fault, my peoples, we gonna continue this Backpack Boys, the canvas brand built in the streets, the documentary, it's all put together by my guy, check out his station, subscribe to his, subscribe to mine first, you know how we do, but his name is LMC, and I'm LG Edutainment. Let's get back to it. Crazy weather. In December of 2021, 
the Back Bay Boys would open their third store down in San Diego. So as y'all can see, 2021 was a massive year for the Backpack Boys. Now in 2022, I believe they just opened up a merch store in Oakland. And I think later this year, they will be opening a Backpack Boys store in Detroit. Also, by the way, I think Detroit and the Backpack Boys brand, and you know, I think it lines up really well, just like the Backpack Boys brand really lines up really well with New York. And anyway, we'll get to that a little later on. Now, 2021 definitely was the year that the Backpack Boys really established themselves in the recreational market with them opening up three stores. But I think it's important to note that there was an insane amount of momentum building up that the Backpack Boys brand had been accruing from 2017 to 2020. Momentum that was built in the streets. Now, if you haven't seen the Runts High Design episode that I did about six, seven months ago, definitely Yo, this go guy, check that out. Yo, this guy, yo, see putting in that but work, did, man. His videos is pretty damn good, y'all. I discussed how all them. Runts... I just happened to run across these videos. I'm like, man, it's so interesting. For we all smoke the brand, the you know what I'm saying? We all participate now, like I in said the earlier, companies, the you know what I'm saying? Really like, it's nice to know who the people are behind the brand sometimes, you know what I mean? The street Keep campaigns to promote the Backpack Boys brand around the country have definitely paid off. I mean, after I started this YouTube channel two and a half years ago, Brothers get money. I've been able to talk to folks from guys, all over the country, guys, almost every single get state. Money. And in many parts of the U.S., we all God. Remember that. That's why I say I'm like course. God. That's why I always ask y'all how my God is doing out there. Florida in the no, South. Remember that. Now, like Feel I mentioned, good about earlier, who you something are. that Quesada or Juan and his team have been absolutely amazing at is having fans slash customers from all over the country and at this point, the world buy into the Backpack Boys brand, want to you know identify with that brand and show the rest of the world hey we identify with the backpack boys in the long term i believe that the backpack boys will have a far easier time expanding into different states and new markets given the groundwork that was done the last three or four years the cult following of the backpack boys is very very real there's two major indicators of this that started to occur in 2021 the first thing being the proliferation of knockoff backpack boys cannabis bags. <laughs> you know, wherever you walk, you're seeing That's you already you know, know. fake backpack boys. You already know. Uh, Somebody will be scheming. Right, you can buy them online, all that. And so when people start to use fake packaging and sell cannabis tomorrow. under your brand's name, milk. well, your shit's popping. <laughs> You say when now they the counterfeit your shit, they make your shit pop. This cult is very real. <laughs> is when folks are flying into LA from all over the country just to cop your apparel and cannabis. Now that I think about it, when I saw all those different groups of people rocking Backpack Boys apparel on my flight back to Seattle, I think that was around the same time their LA store had their grand opening. Man. But yeah. If people are everybody rocking the they just apparel. To your opening, that's their merchandise. That ain't even the herb itself. That's just their merchandise alone. People get money. Man. We've seen the same thing happen to Burner and the Cookies brand. There he, he is. Was, uh, and we'll continue Mr. to Burner open more stores around the country. We're going to do a and video really on his too. Stay tuned. Driving from halfway across the country. All Cookies. types of crazy stuff, right? Anyway, I call them the Cookies Cult, but the Backpack Boys Cult is definitely very real and it's getting bigger and bigger by the day. And I think really, you know, when it comes to trappers from all around the country, all around the world, you know, I definitely think that they, you know, identify with the Backpack Boys brand and the authenticity that comes with that. Now, one thing that I think is super dope, but also really smart of Juan is that he stayed really, really tapped in with underground gutta rappers and musicians in not just LA, but other cities and states all over the country. I swear, I've seen at least 10 plus different rappers have Backpack Boys gear in their videos, or you can mention, you know, name drop. Network, Boys. network. And it's perfect, because like I said, now for the third or fourth time, 
the backpack boys bring when your product is that good, streets. it's going to start moving itself, Being people. Into the streets, you got to put the work in first. The the Everybody wants to sit around and say, oh, I want that passive the income. I want passive the income. Of the culture there. You got to put the work in. Now, that's not to say that you got to put the foundation in. Celebrities haven't What's the passive going to come from? Last year in 2021, NBA legend Scotty Pips actually did a collab cannabis drop in partnership with the Backpack Boys in Five Points LA. I gotta say, whoever told Scotty Pippen to do that collaboration obviously knows what's going on and understands the true authenticity and potential for the Backpack Boys brand. It's gonna be really interesting to see if they do any more celebrity limited edition collab drops in the near future. Gerbo. Definitely think that you know as they get more and more popular, there's gonna be more and more opportunities like that. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they deal with that. Now, something that has become completely obvious to me after doing research and just observing Juan, he's definitely a natural leader. Like I say in almost every single high design episode, the importance of building a high quality team around you as the entrepreneur is critical if you want to succeed. It seems like Quesada has done an amazing job when it comes to that. Ooh, wee, that's a nice pace. More, the more I do research and more observing, <laughs> you can tell. A lot of people look up to Kisada. And I think he's someone who really does care about his people. Now, I take care said, of your people, they you take care of you, really hopefully. build a valuable cannabis hopefully. brand, you need to build that cannabis brand from within the culture and not from the outside of it, like we see with the influx of these, many of these corporate cannabis companies. Shout out to the homies at the First Smoke of the Day podcast, seriously. This clip I'm about to show y'all from their interview with Juan Caseta is absolutely the epitome of why the backpack boys are Ooh, look at the old school. What was that? The old school cutty? What was that? One, two, three. Box. Check it out. And, and I would say I the biggest street brand in the rec market, you know, if, if not to say you know what I mean? So, the the brand brand the brand market, you know, if, if not to say, you know what I mean? So, I, I always from the jump knew that that's where I wanted to target was, uh, was the streets because uh, that's what I most identify with, mm-hmm. and uh, I just I know that bro, they, they, they the streets influences everything. Yeah, like you never hear it first, right? It, it influences everything, and uh, that's why I, that's always where I feel most comfortable at. I mean, and that's another thing that I feel about like with, with some of the the, the chatty uh, the chatty brands that come in that think they're gonna just sweep shit away. They don't understand about people like you and I, right? It's like Bro, I could go into the places that you you're tied in already, and I can still thrive, and I can still do what you do. You can't go to the places that I can go to and do what foul. I do. Like you can't. So like, I feel like we got that advantage. Like no matter what, like you know what I mean. So you could come in here with your billions and this and that. And like yeah, like we we got our our shit established too. You know what I mean. But we don't we don't got we got like, paper that too. Type of That's what he's trying to say. Us, but like. We were doing well, we good. Saw, we got something that they ain't got, though. Got you know what I mean? We got what we I was just telling you to make up for that. We like, tied into the people. I know, yeah, you, no matter how much money, you can't buy that. This world belongs to the people. Don't ever forget.
<laughs> Come on, subscribe to my channel. They ain't gonna feed me. Help me, YouTube. Help me. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification button. They ain't gonna